Good morning. <laughs> Babbles and Brillo with day packs. Woo -woo. <laughs> um, all right, I showed you my ugly mug. Now I'm gonna turn it around. <laughs> so we are taking the um, Greeley Ponds Trail to the Osceola Trail from the Kink. It's Saturday, October 15th. 15th. There we go. And we opted for a weekend of camping in the big ass tent, so it's almost like glamping. <laughs> and uh, doing some day hikes, 4Ks, maybe more 4Ks tomorrow, maybe something smaller tomorrow. With all the rain, we might go do some waterfalls tomorrow, who knows. Um, there's still some good foliage up here, kind of surprised. Hopefully, I'm going to be getting better when we get views of it looking down, but yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm going to do the Osceolas. This is my second time doing this trail. Um, it'll be Burlos first, so he'll check two more off the 4K list. And uh, hopefully the water crossings that do exist aren't horrendously awful and are easily crossable, which I'm actually hearing one and not liking the sound of it, but... A lot of the trails are going to be impassable because the water crossings are so crazy right now. But hopefully that's not the case with this one. Anyways, till later. Bye. Ah, I've got frozen feet. We found the uh, bigger water crossing. And it uh, wasn't as easy as last time. All the good rocks were pretty much submerged. Brillo found a driveway and said, oh... If I could do it without poles, you could do it. And I'm just looking at the gap in some of these steps and wet rocks. I'm like, have you met me? <laughs> so I did the good old barefoot walk through water. And it wasn't super cold until after the fact. I mean, it set in after a while, but yeah, water's a little chilly. <laughs> oh, okay. I think later on. Whereas we'll be going right back to the car because it's not far from far into the trail. I'm gonna just go across in my damn shoes because they're trail runners. They dry anyways. They dry pretty quick. So I'll just lay everything out by the fire later. All right. See y'all later when the going gets good. On. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm surprised there's not a stream over here too. <laughs> I know, I can tell. <laughs> what you find? Huh? Oh, grouse or something? Somebody's chirping at us. Oh, look. Yeah, well, here's the stream. <laughs> I love when the trail's a stream. <laughs> Unless I was good hiking, like wet feet the whole time. <laughs> Foliage. It's a little. The wind took a lot of leaves up here away, but there's still some in the valley when we look down. It'll be pretty. I'm just following the stream bed. See? <sighs> this has been pretty much 80% of the trails so far. It's just a, a stream. I've accept your feet being wet. Whew, that's cold. See what the rock slide. It does no justice, but we just came up that. And we're still going up that. 
birds, bro. Let's and, talking to the birds. And then the rock slide, you really can't see it, but it's a rock face to count. But we go above that somewhere and skirt all the way up, but getting some views. Starting to get some views. First summit's East Osceola. And there's no view on that summit. There is a little lookout before it, and I believe after it, but no actual summit view. It's got a lot of uh, colors because it's mostly pine. Yeah, mostly pine up high. We'll see colors when we get up further and can look down into the valley. Pine, and even looking down there. You, you um, know, there's some over there, there, yeah. But not really. We'll have different views and vantage points, but yeah. onward. All right, up some rock scrambles to the little opening. See a little bit of that. Well, this camera doesn't do it justice, but I'll get pictures too and edit them probably. But you can see the pops of colors in the valleys. They're still there. Still working our way up to East Osceola. And if you look down here, there's Greeley Pond. We may or may not hike to that after. Who knows? But, um,. Was the the rock slide that we still have to scramble up. Fun, fun. And it's wet. Some of it's a stream, but it's totally manageable. I'm going to take a little snack or break and then continue. It's so pretty. Mm. Made it to the outlook after the whole rock slide thing, but... Over there is where we're going to get to East Osceola. Get to go to the big old rock, well, the little rock cairn in the middle of the forest with no view. And then we had to go skirt, 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 skirt down into that little divot. Oh, well, the little divot. And then up to that lovely mountain over there. That's Osceola. But look at this. Beautiful views. There's, a, I think, Musalak back there. And Franconia Ridge over there. And the colors are a lot more vibrant than what you're seeing. The camera just does it no justice. But yeah, taking a little snacky break. I did take a picture and adjusted the lighting and stuff so that the colors actually show better, like what I can see, because it's very pretty. Anyways, post that in my video. Later. In your butt. <laughs> Brother's going up the chimney. Call me living and willing. Oh, yeah. I don't see the chimney. I just need to get a bit more. Oop. Video in your ankles. <laughs> go, Brilla, go. <laughs> Nicely done. You want to wave? <laughs> wave to the YouTube peeps. All right. There's Barbara. That's looking straight. And there's Barbara. And she's like 30 feet below me. Cool. If I recall, this is where I picked out before. <laughs> yeah, that was the, that was the toughest part. Back, 
that commit, right? Ugh. All right. <laughs> the water running down my leg. Here. Which way did you go? Uh, to the to the that side. Mm -hmm. And then I could grab onto that little root that's sticking out once you get a little one more step, maybe. Is there somebody behind me on this? No. That see the root almost right in front of your face? Yeah. You could grab that. That's what I grabbed because there's not really good footing there. Yeah. I can see that. The footing's right there. Yeah. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Yay. Woo! Babbles made it. That was exhilarating. <laughs> Except technically we're still not all the way up, okay. but. Okay. We've seen so many people that started on Triple I Road and came up, I guess, the easier way. <laughs> what do we know? But we survived the chimney. The majority of our, majority of our climbing is basically on. We're on the, the ridge, the less less killer part to go to uh, Osceola. Um, got a summit picture of Brillo at East Osceola. There was a lot of people there, so I didn't video. Um, and it's just a rock Karen, but I'll put that picture in. Um, that was number 11 for Brillo. And at Osceola, he'll be number 12. He'll be a quarter of the way through the list and only what? Who would that be? Uh, 13 or 14 behind me on the list, I think. Uh, 13, if I'm at 27. Oh, oh, yeah, 15 behind me. So, I'll still get some more mountains to repeat. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. But, we'll be at the summit in a little bit. Had some good views on the way. Great foliage outlooks looking out here. So, this should be great. Uh, see you at the top. We made it down the bypass for the chimney, coming off of Osceola. We're now heading back over to go up and over East Osceola to go down back to the car. Yeah. Whew. Coming down the bypass wasn't much better than the chimney, but it is what it is. Whew. That was uh, invigorating. To say the least, um, summit was super crowded. I did do like a quick video of like the view and took a picture, a couple pictures, but um, mainly just relaxed up there for a little bit. It was like going up Mananoc at that point. There were so many people up there. Um, yeah, so making our way back to the car, and Brillo's at number 12 now out of 48. And this is a repeat for me, so it is what it is. Um, I'll get a little more video and stuff if I have battery left on the way out. Probably at the water crossing because I'm going to walk right through it in my damn shoes. I don't even care. Because by that point, we're almost back of the car. But until then, until later, that's it for now. Return trip. I'll have to just keep the shoes and socks on and ford the river. We're both wet. But it's 0.3 to the car, if not less than that. So we're good. Whoop, whoop. That was fun. Anyways, how was I? Uh, here. Oh, never mind. I was going to put it on selfie mode, but oh, go ahead. you're being a tool. We survived. <laughs> we only got two more in the bag and we are out of here. Going to get Mexican as always.
Until next time, Babbles and Brillo, out.